Hi, welcome to this video tutorial. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to create a controller class. A controller class will manage the events and actions taken on each element you add to the FXML file that you are building. So let's try to create a new project. File, new, other, and then JavaFX project, next. And then our project will be JobFX demo. Click on finish. Now let's add a controller class for this particular application. So right click on the application package, the new class, and then controller main controller for our name of the class. Click on finish. Next, we'll create the UI for our application. So let's right click again the application package, new, then other, and select the new FXML document. Next, and then main scene. Okay. So all we have to do is we have to bind the main controller that Java to this main that scene or main scene that FXML. So as I mentioned, that the controller class will manage the events and actions taken on each element in this particular file or the FXML file. So as a way of example, let's create an application that um, will generate a, a random number based on the bottom click. So all we have to do is define the method for that. So public void generate random and then add the action event and then event as the object name open and close import the action event under the java effects that event package now all we have to do is um, define the random class to generate random numbers okay implement and import the random under java.util okay now to generate a random number we need to define a new variable of type int number and equals run that next int then supply the uh, 100 limit for our numbers to be generated for now, let's display the number in the console of our application. So, num. Okay. So, we should be able to see random numbers based on our button click. So, save the main controller that Java. Save. So, next. Open the main scene.fxml, open with scene builder, and let's add the button into this anchor pane container. So, first we need to define the minimum height and or preferred height and preferred width of this anchor pane, which is 500 by 300. Okay. And then let's go to controls and drag the button to the anchor pane. Let's set the property of this button for text. Let's type in generate. Okay. We need to define the controller of this main scene.fxml. So go ahead, click on the controller. Okay, and set 
the controller class by clicking this arrow button and click on the application that main controller or you could actually manually add the main controller here but for the sake of, of simplicity let's just um, click on the arrow button or drop down button and then click on the application main controller then next is to specify the action for this button so let's go to code code and then for the action type in generate random or you can just click on that suggested action name which is equivalent or the same uh, method that is defined in our main controller class okay so generate random and then next is we need to save our file of course save and then of course let's try to run our application JavaFX so right click run as Java application Okay, so we have an empty window showing because we did not add the that fxml file in our stage. So all we have to do is add the main scene that fxml file to our stage. So in order for us to do that, we have to modify the main that Java. Okay, so for this one we need to delete the border pane root and define our own root object so parent root equals fxml loader that load then get class and then get resource with the string name of main scene dot fxml okay and we need to import these two classes so click on the balloon icon and import parent and also the fxml loader okay so earlier we defined the size of our window in scene builder which is let's check The size of our anchor pane is 500 by 300. So let's define it in our Java class. 500 by 300. Okay. Save and delete the unused import. Okay. Save. Refresh the the, the project right click and refresh then right click again to run our application okay so we have here the button that we have de defined in scene builder so we should be able to see the the values or generated values if we click on this particular button so let's try to generate 81 47 12 55 900 or 92 9 24 52 9 and so on so you get the idea of how the controller works for our java application I think that's all there is to it for a tutorial. Thanks.